Hey, what's up, here. Jeff? Welcome. There he is. Yeah. yeah. How's Take it going, man? Awesome. That's okay. Okay. I'm sick too. Yeah. How you doing? All right. How are you, man? I'm sick. But yeah. I'm, like I said, I'm happy and sick. It's you look good, sick though. Thank you. Man. You're like, Thank yeah. You. We're live, by the way. This okay. is this is our show. Good deal. This is, I like it. This is what we do. We we're just talking about Burt Reynolds before, and he's just, he's getting up there. Have you have you met Burt Reynolds or worked with him? I haven't. No. Never met him. Never met him. You think that everybody in Hollywood knows each other? Yeah. And you guys, uh, is he who's who's somebody that you had wanted to meet that you just had, were never able to? Oh man. Burt, Burt Reynolds. Yeah, besides yeah, Burt. Burt Reynolds. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to think. That's a tough question, man. How about Brando? Yeah, that's a good. That's a good answer, <laughs> Brando. I never met him. Oh, you wanted to? You never met him. But he, oh yeah, oh god, yeah, sure, very good. Do you go to Do you go to parties and events for movies that aren't yours? No, you don't. Very <laughs> ra rarely, yeah, rarely. I might, I might. But, it's, you know, it's, it's not something I usually do. Do you like watching yourself? Sometimes when I'm cooking, you know, it's okay. But when I'm not, you know, it's like uh, it was like red light, green light thing. I'm quite, you know, critical. You, know, but you when are. The, when the movie's good, like the one that's out now, The Only Living Boy in New York. Very good. Isn't that nice how I slipped it's that in smooth there, as man? silk. Fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, when the movie's good, I tend to forget myself and get sucked into the story. You, you do? Know? Yeah. And, yeah. And this is one of those. And I've told you before, one of my favorite things you ever did was The Vanishing. Uh -huh. That was such a great, creepy mm. role when Sandra Bullock was really young. Yeah, but I think the original was better. Did you ever dig the original? I did, the French version. Yeah. Oh, is it French or, I don't care, Dutch or something? Oh, maybe, yeah. yeah. But that... That was, I think, was better. Same director, interestingly enough. Why do you think it was better? I thought you you were yeah. better than the guy in the you French movie. So? Yes, I don't think so, man. He was very good, but it's some for some reason George Schleiser, the director, wanted to have the bad guy get his comeuppance, you know. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so they killed killed me in the uh, American version, and the other version, you know, this guy I play is burying all these people alive. And the last scene in the movie is the guy at his cabin, and the audience knows underneath this picnic table are all these bodies, and he's <laughs> saying, pass the ketchup, you know, to his <laughs> wife and his kids, you know, it was much more. While they're suffocating. Yeah. Thought, yeah, 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 yeah. That you was any... a scary ending, the first one, the, the French version. Do you have any movies of yours that you'll watch, like, multiple times? Like, I'm just a fan of this sure. movie now? Oh, Lebowski, I mean, I can't, that's 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 that, you can't, I can't stop that, you know, watching when it comes on TV, yeah. I mean, that's just. You're, you're not alone in that. Oh, <laughs> Well, each scene is so good. I mean, yeah. those guys—they do it so well. You just love that. You just love that version of yourself, right? Uh, I don't mind the version of myself, but it's the movie. You know, those guys are masters. The bro the Coen brothers. You know, they just know how to, and they make it look so like it's nothing. You is know? is it difficult to work with? Like when you, when you've worked with Coen brothers sure. or other amazing directors, does it become difficult when you get to a movie set and you're dealing with a guy who's obviously not on that level? <laughs> It's, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you probably know pretty quick. Well, it's fascinating. Each gig is so different. You know, it's like playing, you know, it's like a, it was a poker, a card game or something. It's like you're playing with different people, different game, different hand you've got, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, I've had wonderful luck with first-time directors, you know. We haven't done much better than uh, Citizen Kane, you know. How yeah. old was he? 25. 25 or something like that, 24. Like that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, very, you know, you know. It's nice. Yeah, I, mean, I guess, but they also have to probably <clears throat> defer to you a lot too. I mean, even if you don't want them to, because you're Jeff Bridges. So, like, a newer director must be very nervous around you. Uh, no, I mean, I don't think so. I don't, I don't think so. Does that put you in fear, or I don't know if fear is the right word, but right away when you sense a director is intimidated mm -hmm. by you, are do you go like, how are we supposed to get anything done if you're intimidated by me? <laughs> no, you're the director. We no, we, you know, we jam. I mean, it's a. It's a collaborative art form. It's so wild. It's kind of like what you guys do here, right? I mean, you know, you're jamming, right? You're, Just right. You want yapping. To get, you want to get yeah. the, you want to feel <laughs> relaxed, right. right? Everybody wants, you know, they feel your best work comes out when you're relaxed. So you, everybody does their best to make the other guy feel that way so we can get some good work done. We need to do it, get up to speed pretty quick because we don't have that much time to do it. You do know? you establish relationships on the set? Like, do you end up being, yeah. like, really close friends with people yeah. and then kind of saying goodbye? Yeah, they're like uh, movies are like little incarnations, you know, little lifetimes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you have to, huh? you have to let the relationships go once it's done, right? Like you like you may see them again, but that relationship is just is now kind of come to a close, and 
maybe well, or maybe well, not. It's, it's weird. Like I say, it's uh, like incarnations. You know, like I, like uh, Pierce Brosnan is in this, in this movie uh, that's coming out, uh, Only Living Boy in New York. Uh, <laughs> and we worked on The Mirror Has Two Faces, another uh, movie we made here in New York. And it's like, you know, remember that lifetime? You know, we were, yeah, you were... I'm yeah. always fascinated by that. Like, I don't know why, but when I'm watching a movie, if two people are in the movie that I knew did a movie together previously, I'd yeah. be like, hey, they were in that. And for some reason, yeah. I find that fascinating. I don't know why. Yeah, <laughs> I, don't I know. know. That's it's a... interesting, that whole thing of the baggage that the audience brings with them. And you can't, you know, you can't uh, yeah. help but do that. And it really informs your uh, experience of the movie, don't you think? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I loved uh, I loved uh, uh, your your Rooster Cogburn character uh, in a True Grit, thank you. and uh, there was some kind of scuttlebutt about you doing the movie Rooster Cogburn. Is, oh, is that no? I, guess I don't know not, that huh? movie. Was that any good? Is that yeah? I think it's pretty good. You know, it's was uh, that kind of a sequel. Por was it written by Portis? You know, the I, guy who wrote the, the yeah, book. I, I think so. And it's uh, really it's, he did uh, it. Oh, well, if he did, they did, and the brothers are up for it. I'm there. That would be great because uh, you and a western is pretty pretty good. I, re I remember when uh, uh, the Coen brothers uh, asked me to be in the, in that movie, and I thought, well, why do you want to do that? You know, I I, I asked. Him, I said, you know, that you know John Wayne. It was a big hit movie. Why? Are you? He says, well, have you read the Charles Portis book? And I said, no. He says, well, read the book. And I read the book, and it's like a Coen Brothers script. I mean, it's just <laughs> so perfect for them. You know, wonderful book. Do you and you turn something down? Like you'll actually turn something down if it's with somebody you like. If you just don't think you're right for it. Uh, yeah. Is that hard though, right? Or, or if it doesn't, you know, if it doesn't really ring my bell. Yeah. Have you turned down things that you regretted? No. No. You were no yeah. regrets person, or the projects weren't good. Uh, or not right. Th or not, uh, or not yeah, right. Yeah, that's yeah, a better yeah. answer. What's that? Yeah, uh, they didn't fit quite right. Yeah, yeah. There was some, yeah, you know, some like that. But I didn't regret turning it down. I'm always uh, interested. Oh, good. But what you were just saying, my guy with no regret. Yes, I'm not quite. I sort of regret uh, not spending more time with my kids growing up. You know, being, you know, making movies and you know, oh, doing okay. that stuff. You know, fortunately, my wife. Been married forty years. Wow! Uh, wow! My wife did a great job, and I, you know, did the best I could. I have a good relationship with my girls now. It's like cats in the cradle. You know, you were away when they learned yeah, to walk. Yeah, exactly. The Harry Chapin too. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, so do you keep? In, uh, are you in close touch with your brother? Yes, very. Yeah. He's one of my favorite. One of my favorite. I don't know if we've ever talked about this, but the incident, oh, which was Martin yeah. Sheen's first oh, wasn't movie. That cool. Yeah. Fucking great. Ed McMahon, Tony oh, Masanti. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. My brother with that cast. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. Oh, I remember God, visiting him right. when he was shooting that. Yeah, you you yeah. were on, you went to the set of that. Yeah. Yeah. Where was that shot? Here in New York it somewhere, was. I can't remember. That was many years ago. What God. a crazy movie! Sixty-seven. I forgot about yeah. that until you just mentioned wow. it. Yeah, Larry Pierce, right? I think. Directed. I that I don't remember. Yeah. I know Ruby D was in it and Brock Peters. Yeah. Oh, that was such an good. intense scene. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was like the bad guys are really like. They had suit jackets so, on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Martin yeah. Sheen and Tony Masanti had yeah. suit jackets. Different time. It was Blazers. a different time, I gather. When you, <laughs> when you work with like the Coen Brothers, your directors that you I like, haven't worked you, with them. I wasn't Jimmy. actually. Oh. That was this was oh, not okay. for you. Oh, sorry. This okay. question was not. This sorry. was for Jeff, actually. My fault. Um. Do you, like, you know these filmmakers that work on projects consistently. Like, do you find yourself going like, hey, Joel, Ethan, like... Pitching him stuff. Yeah, you working on anything? Or you got anything for me? I or can't I remember. Thinking... Yeah, I probably would do that. You would, right? Yeah, <laughs> if somebody, yeah, if somebody was in my mind, you know, that, I mean, they're the best. Yeah, yeah. Just, just to remind them of like, hey, yeah, over here, yeah, don't forget. Ever think about, <laughs> ever think about this, you know. Yeah. Uh, Did you ever want to do a Lebowski sequel? Sure. I mean, uh, the brothers are into it, and there's always rumors, you know. Right. About, uh, you know. Turturro has got this movie coming out. Have you guys heard about that? What is John that? Turturro? John Turturro has got a uh, spinoff, I guess you'd call it, uh, of his Jesus character <laughs> from Lebowski, and it should be out soon. He directed it and acted in it. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So Were you asked to be in it? No. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's like, a, it's like a retelling of a French movie. I'm not sure oh, what the okay. title that is, but... Uh, Man, yeah. so do you like uh, this movie? Uh, uh, the last, the, the only living boy in New York, which is in theaters uh, Friday. Uh, yeah. Lots of uh, plot twists yeah. throughout. It's kind of hard yeah. to 
exactly yeah. explain the movie because it, it just don't even would want, spoil yeah, you know, stuff. Yeah, it, this is always challenging for me. How you you know get people? This is like sort of the Barker at the carousel. You know, come <laughs> see the movie. You know how you do that without ruining it. Sure. If, if there's a movie that I want to see, I want to know as little about it as possible, don't you? And even yeah. saying there's a lot of surprises. Now that give over that now you don't want to prepare you don't want to prime the right. audience. Right. Right. Now you're waiting yeah. for the surprise. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. even it's that wrecks nothing. it. Nothing. It's very challenging, <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I went to see the big short. It was a, a screening of it. And I had no idea what it was the about. The Christian Bale movie? Yeah. yeah. I had zero Ooh. idea. So I went just because I was invited to it and uh, there was Roy Paul McCartney who was going to be there, which he was not. But I just <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to go. And I, I, I never would have liked to see a movie about the financial crisis. And I watched yeah. it. I'm like, this is fucking brilliant. It's like, great. But I knew nothing about it. That's the best Sometimes, way yeah. to see it, man. When you go in there, I think the trailers give away much too much. Oh, it, it's terrible. See, see, that's that's a big problem, I think. They should give that job over to the director of the movie. Because that's like brilliant. The, pre yes. the prep. You know, that's like prep. That's like the first that's they get it. the thing. But they don't do that. They give it to some guys who... It's their job to truncate the whole story or tell all the, you know, yes. yeah, all the twists yeah. and turns and everything. I was in a movie part. the other day and I, a trailer was on and they had me within within like the first 10 seconds. I'm like, I would see this. Stop. And then I had to just Stop. go like this yeah. and not listen and just. Because they'll, they'll, they'll wreck the whole thing. You yes, got me. Yeah. You got me. I'm in. They do. They ruin them. Do you think, though, it's partially because they want they, those guys are good at making money the way they make trailers? Like, if the director did it, would it make less money, even though artistically it would be much closer to what the, the uh, performers I want? Don't, I don't know. I mean, I don't think so. I think the directors would do a better job. I really do. It is tough, though, because you want to sell them. Or you want to say, like, look How at all the cool stuff it? in yeah. here. But you don't want to give away the storylines and all the surprises. But you so. think about it. Like, what was... Um, uh, what I'm trying to think, what's the what, what was the one? What was the movie that had like a big egg that was kind of cracking, and the, that was all it was. Mork from Mork. Huh? Alien. Oh, no. Alien. <laughs> Alien. 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 Yeah. Alien. So that was you know. It's gonna really say Howard the Duck. So, he, he, so yeah. then you say, what is that? You know, just you right. Talking, it's about titillation, man. That's it's not all a, it was. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes yeah. Just you just a get little a, thing. one graphic and some yeah. sounds, and, maybe and you're a like, sound, oh, man. and you say, yeah. Right. I, I can't tell you how many times, like we end up watching movies tell them. in advance because guys are coming in to promote or whatever that is. Closer. And like, so I'll watch a movie with no knowledge of what it is. And I'll be like, oh, that was great. Or this part or that part. And then I'll turn a trailer on and I'll be like, this moment that I just had because I watched sure. it before yeah, I saw a trailer yeah, is busted. gone. It's yeah. ruined. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's finito if yeah. I had seen the trailer. It, it really is. And they've gotten longer and longer. They used to be pretty yeah. fast. Oh, man. And a lot of times like they would just kind of like, remember the trailer for Magic with Anthony Hopkins? Like you just knew it was no. about a creepy magician. Well, I'm an older man. But uh, <laughs> you, you knew very little yeah. about it. And they, they just, they tell you too much. I like those it. old 70s trailers where it's like Macon County Line or something like that. You know, was... you know the movie um, Bob Rafelson's, you know who Bob Rafelson is? He you know, directed Five Easy Pieces, okay. you know, famous director. The Monkees, that was his creation. And he did a movie called Head. Did you see that movie? Or no, I'd love to have started it. it. Huh? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no, it was a while. It was, you know, the monkeys were in it. It was the monkey movie, kind of. And you had, you know, Victor Mature. Oh, right. You had, you know, you know weird, just, it's a weird movie. It's worth yeah. checking out. I'm surprised that it's not, you know, had a rethink. But at the end of it, it was... You have just received three minutes of head. <laughs> really? yeah, like, you know, that was the or, trailer. Or the Coen Brothers. Now, what they wanted for uh, the uh, trailer to be in Lebowski. Remember when um, Flea? You know, Flea was in the movie. You know, the bass player. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You remember he's in. He's one of the bad guys. You know, and he gets hit in the balls with a bowling ball or something, and he's going. Ah! He just you know rise on the ground. And that take that we shot, he writhed on the ground for th three minutes. <laughs> that's the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> you know, now that's enticing, uh, yeah. man, right? Yeah, you'd be curious. Yeah. That's funny. Say, sure. yeah. yeah. And the studio uh, said no? I guess. That's know, very maybe funny. It's, maybe there exists somewhere. Right. <laughs> that's the only trailer available yeah, that's for it. it. That's yeah. the best. They're trying almost now because people have such short attention spans. Like mine has gotten shorter. I think they're just trying for quick, like pow, 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 just fast moments. Yeah, Nothing yeah, unfolds, yeah. especially yeah. in trailers because they're yeah. afraid people will lose interest. Oh. The uh, I, I want to ask you about your dad, of course, mm -hmm. uh, Lloyd Bridges. Oh, uh, God, yeah. Just, uh, first of all, the early days, uh, just a... A, a real leading man, good looks guy, and then later in his career, just a funny guy, <laughs> and that sense of humor, 
<laughs> there were a couple of actors that had this weird transition into the comedy genre after being serious actors. Yeah. And th only a couple of them really pulled it off well. And your dad was one of those. Uh, that just... Yeah, I, well, it, you know, it's interesting. We were talking about the you know baggage and personas that a actors you know develop. And in the uh, late 60s, he had that Sea Hunt. Oh, uh, Sea Hunt. Know, was... Sea Hunt. You know, I grew uh, up uh, watching yeah, that. Yeah. And people thought, this is a big compliment that he was a skin diver. He <laughs> yeah. pulled that part off so well that oh, that's what the guy is. He got a lot of skin diving offers, you know, to play these movies, you know, and that was tough for him because he was a Shakespearean actor, comedian, all these different things. But he kept getting that part, and that, that was one reason why I tried to kind of mix up and not develop a, a, a pers strong persona, oh, so right. people yeah. could imagine me in the character. There was they did a movie years ago called Blown Away. And I was talking to the producers, and I said, you know who could play my uncle in this movie? He's huh. a great actor. He looks a little bit like me. It's Lloyd Bridges. Have you heard of this guy? <laughs> and the guy laughs, and he says, yeah, your dad is a wonderful actor, but he's really more of a comedian. Wow. Said, what are you talking wow. about, man? He says, yeah, well, you know, airplane. I say, You're going to make the guy come in and read. And they right. said, he said, would he? I said, oh, yeah. <laughs> Son of a Did he read? So he, so he came down and knocks it out of the park, you know. He's yeah. wonderful. How did you ask him? Did you have to ask him to read or did they ask him? Uh, I, I, uh, I, can't, I can't remember. No, I probably asked him. I mean, you know. You know. Asking Lloyd Bridges to come in an audition, that's like a little. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's funny. Yeah. <laughs> Was there ever any. Uh, <laughs> And any jealousy or weirdness in the family with so many actors? Because, I mean, that's part, yeah. part of this movie is, like, the, the kids are a writer, the dad's a writer, and there's yeah, weirdness. Yeah, the dad yeah, isn't really yeah. that supportive of his no, kids. No, it's really kind of... A, uh, my dad wanted all of us to go into showbiz. He loved he did. it so wow, much. Wow, that's awesome. Oh, man, you know. And for me, um, it was tough, because who wants to do what their parents want them to do? <laughs> sure. You know what I mean? I said, no, I don't know. I'm into, you know, music and painting art and stuff and he says D -d don't be ridiculous you're gonna get to do all of that you know that's the cool thing about acting is you get to you know draw on all your interests and stuff you know but uh no there was and with Bo no Bo is my you know teacher we're always rooting for each other you know doing the Baker Boys was like a dream come yeah. true yeah you know, it was great to play with each other when you did that King Kong I love that the 77 I think that was when you guys did King Kong yeah. the, I was always terrified of that scene in the Trade Center where you're standing outside like it looks like you're holding on to the two pieces oh, of oh, metal yeah. oh yeah where do they shoot that at the Trade Center, man. Come on. Come on. Jimmy, it's hilarious. Where'd you shoot that? I, I, I'm dying. I know that you didn't shoot it there, but where was it? Was that, that was a... What do you mean we, we, you know we didn't shoot it there? Wait, when you were standing outside. Oh, I'm not sure if I remember your sh the shot, but we certainly <laughs> shot it at the Trade Center. Mm. We, you, you were around New York, Dan. I was in Jersey. I was, oh, a, you were in I was Jer a boy. So we're shooting that. <laughs> we're just coming to the Trade Towers. You know, weren't there, and then... And this little guy comes up to me and says, well, do you like my uh, temple? I say, your temple? He says, this is my temple. I say, your temple? I live over there. This is my temple. I say, what do you mean? He says, oh, I walked across. Oh, Philippe oh. And it was the year yeah, yeah. that Philippe Petit walked wow. across the yeah. thing. And he says, uh, do you juggle? Do you like to? I, I said, no. <laughs> he says, I'm a teacher. And he taught me in about five minutes how to juggle and... Uh, Oh, what, what an amazing what an odd experience. thing to have happen. Did you right find then? that he was a little needy when he came up and said that? <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember me from oh, up there? Boy, no. It was just a walk. But you know, he, he didn't just walk across, did 90 minutes. He did there, a bunch huh? of back ties back and forth, and yeah. Then, and then he was fought. His punishment for doing that was to entertain for free in, in Central Park. Huh. That was his thing. Do you know how much he had to pay as a fine? What was it? Financially, a, a it was a dollar ten. Yeah, yeah, it was like a penny for every floor. Really? Oh, yeah, that was just fine. They but gave you, him a break. You know, you'd be days. walking around New York and you'd see, you'd look, you said, "What is that? What, is that a guy on a unicycle holding on to a taxi cab? Well, he's coming, <laughs> he's coming this way." And he would come, and he'd have a big rope on his shoulder, <laughs> and he'd get a bunch of strong guys. He wouldn't say anything, you know. It was just, you know, like a mime kind of deal. And he'd tie this one end of the rope to a tree or something, <laughs> have these strong guys pull it, and he would leap up on the rope and do a thing. People would gather around, and he'd jump off, take the rope off, 
get all the people in a long line facing each other, two lines facing each other. He'd get at one end, and he would time it perfectly on his unicycle, take his hat off, and he'd catch a cab, and off he would go. That's amazing. I know. Wow. So was there any time when you were, there was no time when you were shooting where there was like a window of the Trade Center open where you were on the outside of it, right? I don't remember How would you forget that? That's horrifying. I remember. Can you Google Jeff Bridges or the King Kong Trade Center? Quick, man. Because it's been driving that scene fucking horrified me so much. You, so you were watching the gorilla on the other building, and I think you were like outside. I'll have to check it out. I remember, <laughs> I remember pitching uh, Dino De Laurentiis and the director John Gillerman. I had this flash. I said, Oh, you know how the movie should end? The monkey should fall down, crash on the ground, catch on fire, <laughs> and turn out to be a giant machine. Oh man! End of the, end of the, the good setup for the next one. Wow! Then the Charles Grodin character buys the carcass, starts to take it around. You know, then the aliens come. I might had a whole. That and does the, sound. Oh, I, I I did a tune, uh, written about that story, and my buddy Burgess Meredith. We hung out oh. a lot at that time, and. Uh, he had a whole speaking part in the middle of this tune uh, based on the Hindenburg thing, you know. Oh, my God. Oh, the humanity is falling and the monkey is on fire. It's a machine. Oh, my God. Well, he did that. Yeah, and, uh, and, and Dino and just looked at me like, like you're crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Jeffy, Jeffy, Kong the two, Jeffy. Yeah. How did you get to know Burgess Meredith? I'm a big of mice and man, uh, oh, men yeah. fan. Oh yeah, Burgess, what a great guy. We after um, last picture show, my next movie was a movie called The Yin and Yang of Mr. Go. <laughs> Uh, James Mason played a Chinese Mexican in the movie. Oh, wow. wow! Yeah, they used to do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we shot uh, we shot for months in um, in Hong Kong, and just had a great great time. King and, Kong, yeah, and then Hong Kong, Kong. yeah. yeah. You've had a fun career, huh? And, and ding dong. That's it. <laughs> They're telling us we have to wrap up with Jeff. Oh, I, I okay. can talk to you all day. You're uh, yeah. so great. Everything you, I've never seen you in anything I didn't like you in. Like you're just you're one Thank of my you, favorite man. actors. You're incredible. Thank you so much. And at least it's always different. There's never anything I like, oh, there's it. Jeff yeah, Bridges. Yeah. It's always some fucking crazy person, or you play a great <laughs> psychopath. <laughs> you do. <laughs> I'm Barney. Well, 